It's that time of year again. Pairs comp. And this is the earliest I've ever gotten up for this competition. 3.30 a.m. Savage. Similar to last year, we were diving off Portland Bill with Ricky as our skipper and Andrew as my pair. We were unsuccessful finding a flatfish at first light, so we turned our attention to the slack tide. There are six target species for this competition. Cod, mullet, sea bass, pollock, flatfish, and these here, bream. Each year it's a struggle to find a big pollock in this competition, so we decided that we were going to specifically target one this year. This is quite a gamble because the spot was miles away. If we didn't capitalise and get a big pollock, we would have wasted nearly half the day. After an hour of travelling and sounding around, I finally landed on the spot, not seeing any pollock. Not to worry, Andrew had it covered. It was a solid pollock, but not exactly what we'd hoped for. We had to give it one more time. Yeah, at least we got a fish, mate. After all that. A classic Dan Man miss. On the way back to the surface, I heard Andrew's gun go off. We took a big risk this trip, diving on some out of, out of the way spots to look for some big pollock. And after a few failed attempts and some sounder problems, Andy has come up with the goods. Look at that fish. It was a big dive, Dan. Yeah. <laughs> I fell off the back of the wreck in 29 meters and then this fella swam up to me. So you speared him. I speared him. Thanks, Ricky. Thanks. <laughs> Fantastic Bodie. Gun. And, gun. and the gun. Anyone wants to play gun? Let's get going. We had wasted a substantial amount of time looking for this pollock. The tide had already turned, so we didn't have long to get the rest of our species. Mullet was our third species, and shortly after, Andrew got our fourth. While this is a nice sea bass, we knew other competitors would be bringing in four and five kilo fish. We decided to try and upgrade our bass by fishing in holes, although we didn't quite find what we were looking for. By this stage, we knew there was nowhere that we could dive to find a cod, so we had to get a flatfish. A welcome bycatch when hunting flatfish are these king scallops. Eventually, I got a place and we headed back to the weigh-in. We got there, Andy. How do you feel, mate? Oh. Got the place. You got the place, Dan. We got the place, mate. No. Teamwork, no, dream teamwork. work. Dream work, that's right. <laughs> got five out of the six. I doubt we're gonna get a cod, but we had a red hot go. It was a good fun day. All around positive. Uh, very positive. Didn't run out of fuel this year, that's important. Mm. Didn't really scout where we wanted to dive with GPS marks, but you know, 
We're always improving. That's right. <laughs> Your hair's very positive today too, Daniel. Thanks, mate. Mm, that's all right. <laughs> With a record number of competitors this year, Waymaster Kevin Daly was keen to get underway. You're only allowed to weigh in one fish per, per species, a maximum of six fish, and that's for two divers. It's really good because you're not just hammering one species, you're spreading the load over a, a number of species. Look at that. All right, one bass, 2.6. In this competition, there are prizes for the heaviest specimen of each species, as well as a prize for the heaviest crustacean. First bass ever. Yeah. A beautiful bass by Kevin the Surgeon Daly. A pair of gilt head brim even made it to the lie detector. Competitors are encouraged to donate their catch to the pulpit in, as well as the communal barbecue and curry after the formalities. Once again, this competition was generously sponsored by a multitude of companies. Welcome to the Pairs Competition 2019, our biggest turnout ever, clearly, if you've ever been here before. You can tell it's the biggest. Thank you all for attending. It was a wonderful day. Everybody's back safely, which is important. This wouldn't be possible without the support of a few key companies, mainly the Pulpit Inn for providing a lot of beer, cider, or other alcoholic beverages and a lovely place to camp overnight and host this event. And also to our sponsors of the competition in no particular order, Sigil Sub, Denny's Diving, O3, Ocean Sports Pentuan and Polo Sub. The largest shellfish or crustacean, anything that's in a shell, goes to Izako and Alex for their gargantuan lobster. The placings of the day for the pairs, and at sixth place, Dave and Alan Stevens, and they were also the shore dive winners. Maybe not a stretch one of them. It's all right. The old boys. Fifth place of the day was Gary and Colin. Hey. Well done, mate. Thanks, Congratulations. Brother. And Gary is also a head chef, so he's probably the most important person here today. Well done. Good on you. Fourth place was Andrew and myself. Yay. Andrew, we got fourth. Podium finishing in third place, the Italian Stallions, Paolo and Fabio. Guys, nice. congratulations. Thank you. That's all right, no problem. In second place, they return to form, Kevin and Ross. Congratulations. Good on you guys, well done. The winners of the 2019 pairs competition with some outstanding fish, and I think the first time they've won this, stop me if I'm wrong, Jack and Anthony. Well done guys, congratulations. Well done, guys. Great. Congratulations. Awesome. Thank you very much. Well done, guys. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for coming. The food is on now, and don't forget to express your appreciation to the many hands that prepared this. Fill your boots. This is my absolute favorite part of the day. The food, the drinks, the tall stories, and of course, Gary's famous curry. Oh, there's some big chilies, mate. <laughs> All the better to burn you with. A few lobsters, a few brown crabs, a few spider crabs, some bass, and some scallops. Just for good measure. Just for good measure. That's it. Oh. Uh, uh, yeah. As you can imagine, the conversation and drinks were flowing well into the early hours of the next morning. If you're interested in diving this competition next year, check out the links in the description. And remember, support the companies that support us. Without the help of these generous sponsors, this competition wouldn't be what it is today. You can find links to all their websites down below. Good morning, Dan, how are you? Good. Good night's sleep, Andy. Yeah, it was fantastic, had about 45 minutes. How about you, mate? Have a good sleep? Similar.